Let's see, um, I think I'd like some eggs. Eggs, please. I uh, wanted scrambled. Huh, I think it's time to buy a new toaster. Peekaboo. I'd like to buy a toaster, please. Ooh, you're in luck. We've had a run on toasters lately. I have one left. I need a toaster. I need a toaster. I'll go someplace else to buy my toaster. Toaster. What was that? I, I didn't hear you. I want to buy a toaster. Sorry, I didn't get that. I said I want to buy a toaster! Uh-oh. Toaster! Hey, I'm going to have a toaster! Get that one of those toasters! Boy, those people really like toast. I guess I'm just destined to go through life eating raw toast. Peekaboo. <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, would you care to look at a home I have for sale? I'm sorry, but um, all I want now is something to brown my bagels. My card, sir. <laughs> Gravestone Realty. The house you buy from us will be your last. Um, thanks, but I don't need... And just for touring one of our homes, you get your own choice of any of these. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm really not interested. Ooh! <laughs> I've been looking for one of those. Oh, you're interested in the toast. Don't say the T word out loud. I don't have to buy anything. Right. I only have to look at a house. Right. And then I get a free to- Ooh, What are those things? Correct, Amanda. And I know just the house for you. It's right here in this brochure. Now here is your entryway. And here is your living room. Here is your dining room. And here is your rumpus room. Rumpus, rumpus, rumpus. Rumpus, rumpus, rumpus. Rumpus, rumpus, rumpus. Rumpus, rumpus, rumpus. What are they doing? They're rumpusing. Now, follow me. Boy, those people really know how to rumpus. I wonder what kind of heating this place has. Gas or electric? <laughs> Neither. We have Myron. Uh, I think I've seen enough of this house, thanks. Don't you want to buy this house? There. Okay, cock, that was beautiful. Oh, did you really like it, Ducky? Oh, Betty, you were perfect. <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> you know, this house is a wonderful investment. I'm telling you, this house is a steal. What's going on down there? It's that Felix the Cat show. You know, it's like a wacky goof parade. Oh. I'm gonna eat you now. Really? I'm shocked. Thanks a lot. OK, 
Okay, now this is getting a little silly. Really silly. I'm gonna figure a way out of this place. Just a small down payment of everything you own, then easy monthly payments of everything you earn for the next 37 centuries. That's a bottomless pit, and I'll toss it in for free if you act now. Oh, there must be a way out of this. <gasps> I know. Um, uh, what about my special gift for touring this place, huh? I'm not signing nothing till I get it. Oh, all right. Here's your stupid toaster. Get on, toaster. Hey, I'm going to have a toaster. Wait, stop. No! I hated to do that, but it was either him or me. But I still didn't get anything to toast my bread. Unless... Uh, extra dark, please. Ah! He's also great at frozen waffles. And eggs. Scrambled. <laughs> Talk to me, Jackson. Um, I ain't seen your friend Felix around lately. Oh, he's around. He'll be boogieing by us any sec now. Hi, Sheba. Hi, Jackson. Who may I nosy my way to ask are you? Why, well, I'm Felix the Cat, of course. Listen. Radio! Ah, <laughs> oh, please. You are not the genuine art. You are not Felix the Cat. I am so Felix the Cat. Oh, I'm Felix the Cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat. Now, oh, please, I don't care how many zillion times that turkey jabbers his jaw, no one is crackers enough to believe he's Felix. Hey, great to see Felix again. Roscoe, didn't your peepers pick up a slight alteration of our amigo? Hey, he got his hair cut? Whenever I get in a fix, I reach into my bag of tricks. If you're the genuine article, Felix, where is your bag of tricks? Right here. And I have all sorts of tricks. There's a whoopee cushion and a joy buzzer. Never mind. And a rubber chicken and some plastic cottage cheese. Yes, folks, I'm Felix the Cat. I'm the star of this show. Hey, don't listen to him, kids. He is not Felix. I'm... Uh, pay no attention to the cat in the window. I'm the real Felix. Uh, excuse me for one second. You guys will never get away with this! Shut up! I told you to keep him quiet. Sorry, Oscar. You're wasting your time. No one will ever believe you're me. Oh, they have to. The only thing I ever wanted in life was to be... A cartoon character. See, when I when I, when I was a kitten, other kids wanted to be doctors and firemen. And I, I always wanted to be a cartoon character. Then one day, I saw a TV commercial and it changed my life. Are you stuck in a do-nothing, go-nowhere job? Then consider stepping up to big pay in the fast-paced world of animated cartoons. At the Fleischer School of Cartoon Charactering, you'll learn everything you need to be the star of your very own Saturday morning cartoon show. Skills like getting hit with pies, having a piano fall on you, and everybody's favorite, running off a cliff and plunging down a canyon. I signed up on the spot. I went off to school to become a cartoon character. I studied cartoon tape, running into brick walls. <laughs> Even the oldest cartoon gag in the world. It was the proudest day of my life when I graduated, and they presented me with my diploma, and of course the customary mallet on the head. Where did it get me? I went to every cartoon studio in town. Everywhere I went, the answer was the same. We're not 
You don't get a cartoon show these days unless you have a hit movie or a successful toy line. Oh, I was through. I was finished, washed up before I'd even started a has-been who never was. But then I looked up and I saw it. And that's when I knew what I wanted. I wanted to be you. I wanted to be Phoenix Day. Hey, where'd he go? I feel like spawning. Hey, come back here. Roscoe, I cannot comprendo that you didn't notice the change in Felix. Hey, uh, he's in a new time slot? Now that was the genuine article. <laughs> Quick, give me the most fattening food you have. Uh, one order of uh, deep fried butter balls and pork gravy coming up. Boy, those things work fast! Oh, he's got to be around here someplace. I need a new star for my cartoon. Where am I going to find a cartoon character? Hey, now! That's the great cartoon director, Otto Oriolo himself. Me! Me! I'm a cartoon character! Please put me in your cartoon. Well, don't give that counterfeit cat. He's as bogus as a bootleg Elvis impersonator. Uh, yeah, uh, what she said. I need someone to do a high dive into a pre moistened tablet. Ooh, ooh, I can do that. I, 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 I can do that. I've seen that gag in cartoons for years. Oh, this is my big chance. You're not serious. You can't make that knock off a star, you... Uh-huh. <laughs> Have you reached the platform yet? Uh, uh, you, you sure the tablet is moist? Radio! Boy, I'm pretty high up. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute! I don't want to be a cartoon character! Do you promise not to impersonate me again? I promise. I promise. I think you learned his lesson. Our two tell that's enough. He's a cartoon character. He'll be fine. And Felix the cat. The wonderful, wonderful cat. And Felix the cat. In that order. What's wrong, Chef? Somebody untie all your pretzels? No, it is much, much worse than that. All of my delivery boys are out sick, every last one of them. Uh, so why is that so awful? Because I am Chef Bacciagalupe, owner and operator of Chef B's five-minute meatball delivery service. Hey, you know, see my commercials? <laughs> You happy peoples, I bet you think in the right of this minute, boy, could I use a meatball? Boy, could I use a meatball? I want there. I said I need a meatball. This spaghetti has no meatball. I want a meatball for my spaghetti. Then I'll have spaghetti with a meatball instead of spaghetti with no meatball, which is what I have now. And just where am I gonna get a meatball at this hour? In fact, I bet you're thinking, where am I gonna get a meatball at this hour? Well, all you have to do is call Chef B's five-minute meatball delivery service. 
If you no get your meatball in five minutes, I'll pay you one thousand bucks. So you see, kid cat, with all of my drivers are sick, if someone calls... <gasps> I hope it's not someone who wants a meatball. Please, no meatball, no meatball. Oh, please, please, please. Chef, be at your service. <gasps> it's someone who wants a meatball. That's right. Can you have a meatball here in five minutes? Tell him my spaghetti has no meatball. 500 Elma Drive, I got it. Your meatball is on the way. <laughs> Little kitty cat. <laughs> what am I gonna do? In all of my years of selling the meatballs, I never be late. I never have to pay. <laughs> no, I'm ruined. Take it easy, Stromboli. I'll make the delivery for you. <laughs> you, you mean it? Sure, but you better hurry. The meter's running. One the meatball is your set. <laughs> Pussycat! Faster! Run! 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 I'm gonna have to hustle if I'm gonna get this meatball there in time! It needs a meatball. My spaghetti really needs a meatball. I ordered you a meatball, Bear. Good, because I really need a meatball. Of course you do, Bear. You're never gonna make it. Who said that? I did. In here. You're never gonna get me there in time. Phew, wow, your breath stinks. What do you want? I'm full of garlic. Yeah, well, try a mint, you know, meathead. It's a meatball! Here. Sure, you got me in the sewer? Isn't this a bit premature? Yeah, don't be so saucy, Meatball. I still don't have a meatball. It's coming. Elmer, there seems to be something stopping up the sink. Excuse me, lady. Uh, never mind, Elmer. It was a cartoon character. Zoinks! We're running out of time! You're not gonna make it! You're not gonna make it! Oh, nothing is gonna stop me! Well, maybe a brick wall. Where's my meatball? <laughs> oh no! My meatball's loose! <laughs> Was that fast ball or a slow ball? Well, I think it was a meatball. Yeah! I got it! I got it! I got it! But what I haven't got is much time. I don't have a meatball. I still need a meatball. Everyone needs a meatball. I have to find 500 Elm Drive. Here's 200 Elm Drive. Here's 300 Elm Drive. Here's 400 Elm Drive. 500 should be right down here. 500 Elm Drive. It's that houseboat. Oh, I forgot how much sharks like meatballs. I think the cat's trying to deliver your meatball. Good, because they really need a meatball. What am I gonna do? You could give up and take me to a nice movie. Now you keep out of this. The five minutes is almost up and... Uh, I know. The meeting of the Seaside Vegetarian Society will now come to order. Does everyone remember our motto? We hate me. Don't eat me. Fooey on me. Hi, uh, I'm serving hors d'oeuvres. Anyone here care for a meatball? Get out of here! I thought you said I was getting a meatball. I need a meatball. Your meatball, sir. Thanks. I needed a meatball. Oops! 
This marinara sauce is a slippery. Thank you. He really needed a meatball. Who doesn't? In fact, I think I need a meatball, too. No! Don't start the timer again! I'll be back in five minutes with another meatball. Well, hurry it up, Buster, because I really need a meatball.